Hi guys. Desk's a bit of a mess because I'm in the middle of doing something. But I've been watching one of Lid Motor's uh, projects again. This one's something to do with Lenz's Law. Uh, which is also linked to Faraday's Law and a few other things. I'm not going to try and explain them. I think you'll have to look them up yourself. But what I'm going to do is I've got this plastic container, the body shop, Fruit de la Passion, oh yes, exfoliant corporel, whatever that is. The reason I'm using it is it's got a nice little mark right in the centre of it that I should be able to push a needle through, use that to support it, that's a very low friction bearing. I'll need something on the top as well. Then I'm going to put some copper strips on there. Slug barrier tape. Apparently there's some copper strip in here. I'll put little vertical strips on there. And then I'm going to see if I can make it spin using this which is originally a little handheld fan but in the end of it I've got two neodymium magnets so what we're actually doing is spinning a magnet and what should happen is even though the copper tape will not be making a circuit of any sort it should interreact with the spinning magnets and you're gonna to have to look it up and find out why if it works so I'll cut up some strips of that copper stick it on the outside put a needle through the middle uh, there's a screw there already that will be uh, one end bearing and I'll stick a bit of wood or popsicle stick on the top here so we can have a top bearing as well. I might even use a little magnet at the top end just to support it. That needle's bent, can't use that. That one looks straight. Okay, I've bent another needle, so we'll need to get another straight one. But I've just got it through there. Probably should have used that to make the hole first. But it's always handy to show you the mistakes. One more needle. Yeah, that one looks straight. Let's push that hole through a bit first. It's a bit tougher than I expected it to be. straighten it up a bit as well. Still we'll sort that in a minute. Let's have a look at this stuff. Okay, there's the copper tape. Is it sticky backed? Yes. Hmm. It 
it would have been handy if I'd have measured the circumference so we could get exactly the right number round there. I'll just um, I'll just go by luck. How much gap do you think we need? It's pretty thin, this stuff. I originally bought this copper tape for making chemical batteries and things like lemon or vinegar and I've never actually got around to doing that either. So many projects, so little time. Copper tape came from 99p store. I think Poundland do it as well. Yeah, somebody's ringing my phone. Carry on. That's not a bad guess, is it? So that's me bits of copper. Couldn't find a popsicle stick, so I'm going to use a pencil. Glue that there somewhere. I've got a little magnet laying around here somewhere. I'll glue that on the end and then use that to support it. Right, a bit of hot glue to go then. So we've got the magnet, we've got the uh, whatever we want to call it, plastic container with a needle through the middle. And the magnet's holding it upright. I can just about. Oh, yeah, I've blown it off. Anyway, so we can see that it's free running. So now, if I hold the magnet. The spinning magnets next to it. I suppose I'll try and hold it so you can see that the magnet's not touching it. Seem to be a bit unbalanced. I can actually 
pull it back a bit once it's going. But the next question is, is it wind or is it the magnets? And the best thing to do there would be to put a piece of card in front of it. That's what lid motor did to demonstrate. So I'll find a piece of card. Right, cut a piece of card. So I'll hold that as close as I dare. And then put my magnet Change the angle a bit so you can see. Once it's going, I can actually pull the magnet away a little bit, and it maintains the momentum. So there we go. As I say, apparently this is Lenz's law. You see lots of videos on YouTube, people using copper or aluminium pipes and dropping a neodymium magnet down the centre and the magnet goes down very slowly because it's inducing currents in the copper and the copper is inducing magnetic fields and they interact and slow the fall of the magnet. Well this is the same effect but just demonstrated in a totally different way. So I suggest you go away and do some investigation yourself to see how that works. My replication of another one of Lid Motors little classics. So there'll be links in the video description to Lid Motors project.